Are you wondering how to connect boards in monday.com? Or in other words, link boards together. Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do, showcasing the functionality and just giving you some tips and suggestions along the way. So for the purpose of this demo, let me just walk you through what I'm trying to achieve and that will help me to illustrate this functionality and show you what you need to do. So the first thing I've set up is a project portfolio overview. So we've got three different rows here, project A, B and C. And if you can see in my workspace on the left hand side, I've got three other boards here for project A, project B and project C. So what I'm trying to do is set up a connection between the boards so that the information flows into the project portfolio overview and I don't have to update it manually. Now the benefit of connecting boards is that there's a two way flow of information. So if I was to open up the project portfolio overview and make the changes here, it will also flow through to each subsequent board. Okay, so that's why you want to do it. Now, if I just show you these different boards here, this is project A, this is project B, and this is project C. Now, these are all exactly the same. The only thing I've done, so basically to create these, I created project A, and then I did duplicate project and I did that one more time and just rename them and then I just changed some of the data so the statuses are slightly different and the priority just for the purpose of this demo and for differentiation but the first thing you need to do is identify where you want you know the boards that you want to connect and open up the main um, board to make that connection so as I say in this demo it's project portfolio overview at this stage what you want to do is click on add column now type in board and what we're looking for here is connect boards. So this little um, interface will pop up, connect this board to other boards, easily view and edit items from any board you choose. So what you want to do here is press select boards. Now at this point, you want to select all the boards that you want to connect to this particular board. So in this demo, I want to select all three, okay? So that's something, and then you want to basically do a two-way connection. If that's something that you want, you have to select that. If you don't want that, then you can um, uncheck it. But as I say, that's something that I want, so I'm gonna check that. Then you want to connect the boards. Now, it will say that three boards were connected successfully, so that's fantastic. There's other one other step we need to do. So, and what I'd suggest is you just read this. You can now visualize data from your connected boards with the mirror column. The mirror column helps you reflect information from multiple boards, creating more visibility and control. So what you need to do now is press create mirror column. And it will do this. And then what we want to do is select the column that we want to mirror back through. So as an example, uh, let's just do status for now. I want the status of the task. So if I just click on here quickly, let's just say I want this status to be pulled in, if you see what I mean for each and every task. So let me go back in here. Press, uh, let me just delete that off actually, I probably shouldn't have clicked off. So let's go again. So the boards are connected, we now need to do a mirror. So we're doing the mirror for the status column. Okay, so we want to connect boards. So we want this to be status, so project B, status, and project C, status. And now if I press off, then that should be in here. I'm gonna call this status. Now, if I connect the board to, now we can select the, um, let me just show you this. I wanna go into project A. So basically we can decide whether we want to pull in all of the tasks or just one task. So of course this will depend on what you want to pull through in your needs, but for the purpose of a portfolio, I want to pull in all of the tasks, if that makes sense. So we're gonna do one, two, and three. And you'll notice now the status column has been pulled through. Now I need to set this up for, um, so that was, did I do this for, pro sorry. That was project A, I now need to do this for project B. So that would be again, one, two, three, because I want the task two to come through, uh, uh, the three tasks to come through, sorry. And then we need to go project C, task one, task two, task three. So now if you look at the status column, essentially what this is showing us is the breakdown of the statuses for all of the tasks that are currently in the project. So if I go back, we've only got three tasks. We got stuck working on it future steps for project A. So if I look at project A, there we go. We've got future steps, um, I think that's on hold, is it? Sorry, and then working on it, sorry, and then stuck. 
And then if we looked at project B as an example, all of these are on hold and that's why it's pulled through as all on hold. Do you see what I've, I've done there? And when it says three slash three, that basically means three out of three tasks are all on hold. Does that make sense? One out of three are all future steps. One out of three are stuck. One out of three are working on it. So that's how that, that works. And so now I've got an overview of all the tasks in one place. Now I just set up the mirror column of the status. So let's just say, if I go back in here, we wanted to mirror uh, the priority, then what you'd essentially need to do is just create another mirror column. So you just type in, if, you can, if I can spell it correctly, mirror. Now this time, uh, again, we need to connect, connect boards. So this time we want to do the priority. So I just go in here and then I select priority. Now, as you can see, you can do it for every single project or just two, uh, whatever you need. And then you'll see here that it's pulled them all in. Um, now, if I go back to um, the, these particular projects, all of the priorities are set the same. Um, so as an example, this is all high, this is all medium, and this is all low, which is why in the portfolio, this is just look, appearing as you know one color. Let me change this to critical, medium, and low. Now, if I go back to the project portfolio overview, you'll see that this is updated. Now, if I change this here, I should be able to, because I set up a two-way flow, so we've got two blacks and a purple, and this is project B, two blacks and a purple, because of the two-way flow, if I change this to critical, if I go back to project B, all critical. Do you see how that works? So any any that's how you connect boards that's how you link them together but then that's how you manipulate them and i'd need to change this to priority so yeah what you essentially do is you make the connection once so i've done that and i've connected that each task or whatever elements in that board you want and then you just set up the mirror columns one by one so you basically go through the process i've done uh, status i've done priority we could then do timeline duration planned effort etc etc i hope this video is useful i hope it makes sense to you if you have any questions comments feedback about connecting boards linking boards together or the process then drop them down below and i'll get back to you with all that said best of luck with monday.com and i hope you have an excellent day